We need to get to the hospital, fast! What's wrong with Mama? The doctor says you can visit your mother at the hospital this afternoon. I'm going to pick up Mwenda from your aunt. Then we can go together. Be ready in one hour. Mm. Let's bring her something to make her feel better. Like a book to read or... Food! Mama loves chips. Let's get her chips with extra salt. No! Let's bring her ice cream. That's my favorite. It's not for you, Baraka. It's for Mama. <laughs> well, if I think Mama will love ice cream... And soda! Do what you want. I'm bringing Mama chips. With extra salt. We'll soon see what food Mama likes best. But everything you need to help you get better. Look at all this food. Sweet green soda and yummy ice cream. Keep that junk food away from your mother. These are exactly the types of food that have made her sick in the first place. They did? Yes, I'm afraid your mother has diabetes. And diabetes is caused by too much sugar, right doctor? Yes, too much sugar in the bloodstream. When you consume too much sugar, through sugary foods, sodas, and even adding lots of sugar to your tea, your body has to work twice as hard to control the amount of sugar in your bloodstream. After a while, your body can't control it anymore, and that's when you develop diabetes. Oof. There are some people whose bodies naturally can't control their blood sugar, but for most people, it's just a case of a bad diet and not enough exercise that causes diabetes. It's okay, Mama. I brought you this. Mm. This food is not good for your mother either. <laughs> but doctor, you said diabetes was caused by eating too much sugar. Chips are salty, not sweet. And besides, potatoes are part of the carbohydrate food group. They give us energy. That's true. The body does need some carbohydrates to get energy. But when potatoes become chips, they are fried in a lot of fat and then covered in salt. The body needs only a small amount of salt and fat. Ah, because if you eat too much of them, you get fat. Yes, that can happen. But it also harms your body on the inside. When you eat too much fat, your body produces extra cholesterol. Doctor, you're needed. Mm, looks like I've got some work to do. Mrs. Chimo, I'm sure you're in safe hands with this curious young man. I promise we won't let Mama have too much sugar, salt, or fat from now on, and only a little carbohydrate. Mama, you're going to have the healthiest diet on offer. A healthy diet makes a happy body. to give mama a meal without extra sugar or salt or fat. We can give her a little carbohydrate, like a few potatoes. Oh, sorry guys. We were trying to plan a healthy meal for mama. We got a little carbohydrate already. But we don't know what else to give her that isn't full of fat, salt or sugar. But what else? Well, I'm on my way to buy eggs, and eggs are full of protein. Why don't you come with me and give your mama some protein? Good idea! But how does protein help the body? Geez, Koba, I don't have all the answers. But I bet Mama Mayai will know. Mm. 
Now, this is where we have the highest number of chicken in Kokotoa, 137. You must have the most eggs in Kokotoa too then. I do. Come, I'll show you. I call this bun the protein parlor. There's more protein here than you could need in a whole month. Mama Mayai, why exactly do we need protein? My dear child, protein is essential to keep the body healthy. The protein you get from foods like beans, fish and of course eggs helps you to repair the cells in your body, keeping you healthy and helping you grow. <laughs> you sure look like you could do with some protein. Help yourself to eggs, kids. Hmm. So if I want to grow, I have to eat all these eggs? Mama Mayai said you can get protein in beans and fish and other foods too. You don't have to just eat eggs. Oh my! That's far too many eggs for one meal. It is? I thought protein was good for you. Protein is good for you, yes. But eggs have protein and fat. And too much fat causes cholesterol. What's so bad about cholesterol? Cholesterol is a fatty material and it can stick inside your arteries where all the blood passes through and... How does blood pass through if the arteries are blocked with cholesterol? That's exactly the problem. So your heart has to work even faster to try and push the blood through the body. Uh-huh. And when that happens, you get high blood pressure. <sighs> like me. I myself have heart problems from eating too many fatty foods. The doctor told me the high cholesterol in my arteries has given me heart diseases. That's what happens if you eat too many eggs? Not just eggs, but too much fat. It could be oil, butter, or fatty meat like beef. So, the key is not overdoing it. But you're surrounded by eggs. How do you make sure you don't eat too many? Self-control, my child. Self-control. Well, I don't have an egg problem or a chips problem. So, I guess I must have mastered self-control already. Me too! Everyone needs self-control in different situations. I'm sure your time will come. Maybe. Anyway, thanks for the protein, Mama Mayai. Yeah, thanks, Mama Mayai. So we have carbohydrates and protein. What else do we need for a healthy meal? Richie Rabbit! Koba! No way! We can't eat Richie Rabbit! No, I mean there's Richie Rabbit! Oh! Hey Richie Rabbit, what are you doing? <laughs> you know all this. <sighs> oh, that! I'm just practicing self-control. I really want one of Mr. Kiko's carrots. But I know his carrots are for selling at the market, so I shouldn't take one. <sighs> vegetables! We forgot vegetables! Thanks! Oh, yummy vegetables and carrots. Oh. I'll show you around the farm, and you can choose whatever vegetables you like. I just need to find my hat first. Hey, Koba, look at this. Is that Zekigo? But where did his hair go? <laughs> that was when I still lived in the city. But you were so... Skinny, bud? Yep, that's what happens when you eat rice and meat every day. You just don't get enough vitamins and minerals in your diet. I used to get sick all the time. So how did you get your hair back? I mean, how did you get better? This is how I became healthy again. So, the vitamins and minerals that your body needs to stay healthy and which your hair needs to grow come from vegetables. That's right. There are many different minerals and vitamins found in the vegetables. Ah, uh, okay, take whatever you need. 
There's so many different vegetables here. Which ones should we pick? Well, which rabbit always looks healthy and full of bounce? And he loves Mzakigo's carrots. Great idea! Carrots it is! <laughs> oh my, my, my. You have certainly got plenty of vitamins A there. That gives you good vision and healthy skin, but the body only needs a little of each of those. So which vitamin do we need more of them? Vitamin B? Vitamin G? Vitamin Z? <laughs> you need variety. Variety. Got it. We need variety. That means we need some of each vegetable so that we get all the vitamins and minerals that our bodies need. Now that looks much more healthy. Variety is everything if you want to get all the right vitamins and minerals. Aha! And I see you've got some fiber in there too. Some what? Fiber. It helps the body to digest food and helps reduce the risk of diabetes and heart disease. It's in whole grain, nuts and seeds but also in some fruits and vegetables, like oranges, broccoli, and corn. Now maybe you'll grow some hair too. <laughs> You've got a bit of carbohydrate with some boiled potatoes, some protein with our eggs, and plenty of vitamins and minerals, not to mention the water that we already have at home. Wait, we forgot something sweet. No, Baraka. The doctor said mama can't have any more sugar. But we don't have diabetes. We can still eat sweet things. No, Baraka. Yes, Koba. I said no. Look what you've done, Koba. What I've done? You're the one who's stupid enough to want to eat sugar. I'm going to make my own healthy meal on my own. Hey, Koba. What's up? You look kind of angry. Ugh, it's just Baraka. He wanted to add something sweet to our healthy meal. Even though Mama has diabetes, he can be so stupid. Huh? Is that why you broke your basket? Oh, yeah, we were just fighting over it. You know, everyone gets angry sometimes. I do too. But if you learn to control your reactions, then you don't need to fight about it. I guess so. But how can I control my reactions when I feel so... Ugh. Try doing this. Take a deep breath in, hold it, and breathe out. <sighs> wow, I do feel calmer. Great job! But calming down is just the first step. You need to control your reactions, too. How? Well, before I say anything mean, I ask myself two questions. Is it nice? And is it necessary? If it's not nice, then ain't no point in saying it. And if it's not necessary, ain't no point in saying it either. I guess that could work. We all have feelings that make us want to do things like dance and scream and shout. But it's a slippery slope when you lose control. You hurt those you care about. We all have feelings that make us want to do things like dance and scream and shout. But it's a slippery slope when you lose control. Just try this. Take a deep breath, count one, two, three. Breathe out your anger just like me. When you feel calm, there's no need to fight. Ha! You just need some self-control in your life. What about if I'm not fighting but just arguing? Control your mouth, control your words. Think before you speak so no one gets hurt. Ask yourself, is it necessary? Is it nice? We all need some self-control in our life. Self-control, self-control, self-control is the way to go. Calm yourself by breathing deep and be sure to think.
if I speak. You always feel better when you learn self-control. Thanks, Suchi Rabbit. I feel much better now. Koba, I'm sorry for arguing with you. I'm sorry too. I need to learn to control my temper and not get so annoyed at you. You're my little bro after all. Now, let's get cooking. A few boiled potatoes for carbohydrates, that's to give us energy. And an egg for protein, that's to help us grow and to repair the cells in our body. Lots of vegetables, which are full of vitamins and minerals, to keep us healthy. And some fiber to help our digestion and help prevent other food-related diseases. And a little bit of natural sugar from fruit to satisfy my sweet tooth. And of course, water to replenish the water in our body. Mama, we present to you a healthy and nutritious meal. Wow, thank you so much. Mmm, something smells delicious and nutritious. Excellent work, boys. Avocado starch. What will you have? I love rice. Mm -mm -mm. I want potatoes. I'll have ugali. Let's make a plate for a balanced diet. Let's make a plate for a balanced diet. Start with just a quarter. and fruit. So let's make a balanced plate to keep our health great. Starch provides our body with energy. We need it to survive and for our bodies to thrive. Protein fills the next quarter of the plate. Tell me, what protein will you guys take? I really love my mother's beans. Me, I want to eat my meat. I love beef, but today's chicken day. Let's make a plate for a balanced diet. Let's make a plate for a balanced diet. Start with just a quarter of starch or grain. Add another quarter of lean protein. Vegetables and fruit. So let's make a balanced plate to keep our health great. Starch provides our body with energy. We need it to survive and for our bodies to thrive. Time to have some fun with our colors and greens. I can't wait to see how pretty each plate will be. I love carrots and spinach, apples and mangoes. I will take cabbage and bananas. Man, I love bananas. I really can't choose. They all look so yummy. I'll just have some of each. What about fats, sugars, and salt? We need a little of this to make the food sweet. But they are foods that we should not overeat.
use mathematics, mental acrobatics every day, all the time. Just use your mind. You use math when you measure. Width and length, solving problems using mental strength. Use number operations like multiplication. The number you'll find is like magic from your mind. Math is a part of everyday life. Just add, subtract, divide, and multiply. Can you solve the problem? Did you get the answer? Just use your brain and you can do it, sir. Now, don't you rush it. Just take it slow. You must be careful. Don't you know? You use math for all things in life. When you eat your gali, you count your bites. In a parade, count the steps you take. Just listen when I rap. I'm using math. Calculate the distance when you drive your car so you will know if you've gone far. Here's something else for you to count. Can you count the teeth in my mouth? We can measure width, length, and depth and represent with X, Y, and Z. Math is used for everything. Just do the numbers in your head. Now try to add up all the spots on my neck. How many do you see? And I even use math to get leaves off the tree. Never miss out on new Ubaldo Kids videos ever again. Subscribe today and become the first to know every time new fun educational content is available. Simply type Ubaldo Kids English on the search bar. Click on the Ubaldo Kids English channel page. Click subscribe on the right hand corner of your screen. What are you waiting for? You are three easy steps away from joining the Ubaldo Kids family.